Yeah, you were both working at our Brooklyn office. Well, Cassie, until you moved to South Carolina last year, and Rusty, until we had to close the office in March due to the pandemic. Could you share some fun stories about office life when you were both still there? Oh, Cassie, like with office life, we would we would celebrate birthdays. We would put like decorations all the way up on the ceilings and decorations all the way from like top to bottom, side to side. Mm -hmm. And oh, it was for everyone's birthday too. We'd get to a point, yeah, where. We had so many people that started working. Our team grew. It used to be kind of like me, Molly, Rusty, a handful of other people. And and then our team grew. We had big groups of interns. And then we started having to do monthly birthday celebrations because we had so many, so many people. So Rusty played your role, I guess, mainly Rusty was like playing the music and, and picking out kind of the theme for the party, right? Yeah, sure, sure was Cassie. Yeah, Th- those days were definitely helpful. That was def- those were moments were de- are definitely worth reliving, and they're definitely helpful too. They're definitely yeah. helpful moments. I yeah. know it was so much fun. We had yes, we took birthdays very seriously. We still do. We've had some Zoom birthday parties <laughs> since <laughs> since all of this has happened. Um, and yeah, Rusty, you did the music that day, so we all played our played our roles. I think um, everyone had a a different thing that they had to do for the birthdays. And I often did the decorating and, and <laughs> rounding everybody up. Um, so birthday parties were, were birthday a ton of bonanza, fun in the right? office. Yeah. It's a birthday bonanza. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so we took those pretty serious. And then if people had a big one, we may even go out and go to Shake Shack or somewhere, somewhere, walk a few blocks down, get ice cream. Um, I think that's, that's another thing that comes to mind is, um, for the people listening, I don't know if this is public knowledge, but Molly, our founder and CEO, eats more ice cream than any person <laughs> I've ever known to to eat ice cream. I will second that because she's eaten it when it's been freezing cold too, when yes. we were in Long Island. Yeah. Yes. And sometimes we would go over and they would give out free ice cream if the temperature was below freezing. And she was like, we have to go get ice cream today. (laughs) Um, But she would come out of her office and say, everybody stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. What are you working on? We're going to get ice cream. (laughs) And we'd all as, I mean, all the interns, everybody working, you'd finish whatever it was you're doing. And we'd go walk a block down and go get ice cream and sit on the roof or sit there together and just kind of have a, have an ice cream break. That was a really fun part of office life. Yeah. You've been watching Autism Knows No Borders. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, we'd love to hear from you, so let us know what you think in the comments section. Click here to watch this interview in its entirety. You can also find us on your favorite podcast app. Tune in each week for engaging conversations of how people across the globe are inspiring change and building community. Thanks for watching. Take care.